What's going on guys? Ferg here with Team COG coming at you with the updated Invoked Shadow deck profile. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I almost sold this deck a few days ago. Wasn't feeling it. Didn't really feel like this was my style. You know, I'm one of those straightforward, hey, let's find a deck that runs off one card. Not really a combo guy. But, you know, in light of the recent ban list, when I realized that my deck has been completely unscathed, and we have the power of uh, the new Verite Anaconda, I uh, decided to stick with it, kind of play with it a little bit more, and update a little bit. Uh, it's still fun. It's a lot different. I did throw in my own one little special techie card in the extra deck. And let's get into this deck profile, shall we? Starting off, we do play the three Alistair the Invoker. Without it, he cannot do any of the Invoke plays. Uh, you use it to search out your invocation. Continue from there because you got to find your fusion cards as soon as you can, as fast as you can, and quick and efficiently. Um, this is always your Ash target most of the time. If not, go on second during Ash your Shut Off Fusion. So three Alistair the Invoker. We're doing three Reshut All Windy and one of the Nail Shut All Aerial. The Windy needs Aerial for the main combo. Uh, when you banish uh, Rush All Incarnation and Construct, usually in a combo, flips this face up after being set face down by Windy to summon out the Construct to continue the combo. Its grave effect is when it hits the grave by card effect, you can banish three cards from any graveyard, which has came in clutch a few different times. And then for the old shadows, we're doing three schemata. We're doing two hedgehog, one dragon, and two beast. It, I, I've been playing with these ratios for a while now. Uh, three schematas, standard. You can't go any less. I tried. I felt real stupid when I did. Because this is your quicker way of getting to Windy. And if you already have Windy, and somehow they stopped your ability to get to Reshiro Incarnation, at least in Incarnation. Unless I read that card wrong. I'm sure I'll hear about it if I did. Draw power, searching power, uh, and your MST. On field, if it's flipped face up, you get to draw two, discard one, which is good for hand resetting. This card's flipped face up, you get to search a Shadow Speller Trap to hand. You hardly ever use the flip effects. I don't even know schematics, to be honest with you. And then we play. Oh, it's back in order. For we do the yeah, we do play the performance package. Two juggler. I'm only doing the one trick clown, and for the rank four plays, I am doing the one hat tricker. This can surge both of these. Your light target for construct, and an exes plays because you can summon this out from your hand. I do not play Shekinaga. I don't feel like he's very much needed with this build right now. And to round out the monsters, we are still doing three of the Rocky Boy. Nibiru. It's light. And it's the only one I feel is needed right now. Um, I'm not sure what the meta is going to shape out to be. I haven't really done any research. I still think some combo decks are going to be around. But if not, I can probably switch these out for Ogres and still feel comfortable. On to spells. We're doing three. Oh, come on. Focus. Three meltdown. One terraforming. Searches Alistair and protects your fusion plays. Except for shut off fusion. You can still get ashed. You don't want to get ashed. And then we go on to this, the fusion spells. I did tinker with this a little bit. My last profile, I believe I did 3-3, three, 3-3. Three, three, three. So 3 Invocation, 3 Shut All Fusion, 3 L Shut All Fusion, 3 Super Poly. I have trimmed it down a lot. 
Since Verite Anaconda is out, I don't feel the need to play so many. So we're going to go down to Invocation. I'm sure I'm going to hear about this in a minute when I see the comments. We're still doing three El Shadow Fusion. We're still doing three Shadow Fusion. And we're only doing the one Super Poly. Anaconda plays. I keep seeing more. I keep seeing all three in hand, and I really don't like doing that. So let's get that down to two. And these can be dumped to grave as needed. Continuing on, I played two Cosmic Cyclone. Not sure if back row heavy decks come back. I will be switching those out for the Twin Twisters. But this is mainly to get rid of the of the uh, Dragon Buster pain in my butt. Because I think he's still going to be around for a while. And one Foolish Burial. Schemata. Schemata, 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 Schemata. And for traps, we do the one Rest Shot All Incarnation, and we do, do the one Dynamiscus. I will probably be keeping this in the deck. I haven't found any reason why not to. And Rest Shot All Incarnation, I, I tried doing it too. But for some reason, when I did that, it decided it wanted to love my hand. Not in the good way. So 40 cards. I... I Tried doing 41, 42, it didn't feel right, so I'm back down to 40. But uh, let's get on to this uh, extract, shall we? For the fusions, we are doing two El Shadal Construct, two Winda, one Purge, one Mech. And one Cali. Um, I've gone back and forth on the Kaliga, keeping it in, keeping it out. This is we play so many dark targets and that go to the grave, I decided just to keep it in there. Because when worst comes to worst, I will do the Winda Kaliga lock. I want to try to find a way to get Raging in there. I still might do it. But I haven't decided yet. Like I said, for the Xyz, we're doing just the one Abyss Dweller right now. Because I feel like I'm, we're going to see a lot more graveyard heavy decks. And I really don't feel like dealing with them. On to Lynx. One Invoker of Madness. One Cross Sheep. I did put the Secure Garden in there. Because I believe that was out last profile, or that one was. I am doing both of those. I've changed my soul on that. No one Amirage. So glad I spent $40 on that the day before the Ultra was uh, announced. That still uh, burns my soul a bit, you know. Gravity Control is there just to get your Fusion to Grave, to get your uh, Shadal Fusion back to hand. Because you love to recycle. And Secure Garden as your light target, just in case you can't find any other light target. Because you go Alistair, Amirage, Secure Garden. Uh, and then we do the very anaconda. Hey Adam, you've only shown 14 cards right now. Let's explain anaconda real quick. So what it does, upon summon you get to target one of your opponent's monsters, turn it dark. Which yeah, you know, people are like, oh hey, he's probably playing a starving venom. Wrong. Second effect, dump a fusion, normal or quick play spell from deck to grave. And if you don't draw your Super Poly, well, uh, it's Super Poly. So, I like to use the Predator Plant monster for its name, too, sometimes. And for that, I am playing Predator Plant Chimera Reflasia. So, what this card does, let's see if I get the focus a little bit. Once per turn, I can target a monster in the field with a level less than or equal than. This card, banish it. When an attack is declared involving this card and an opponent's monster, face up monster, I can activate this effect. At the end of the turn, this opponent's mon the opponent's monster loses a thousand, this card gains a thousand. And then once per turn during the standby phase, after this card was sent to the graveyard, 
You can add one poly or fusion spell from deck to hand. So, going to Anaconda, fuse off their opponent's monster into Chimera Reflation. And the combo usually ends with Skamata and Construct and, and Mechaba with a face down L Shell Fusion. Well, you fuse your Skamata and your Chimera Reflasia go into uh, Winda. So then the next standby phase, you're going to be set up. They've been locked out. Hopefully, if, and if they were lucky enough to get out another monster, well, then you can finally, you can either search your L Shuttle Fusion or your Shuttle Fusion. Um, I'm still playing with Chimera Reflasia. I like it. I love it. Um, it. I need to test the deck a little bit more to kind of finalize it, but that's the card I'm going to stick with for right now. Um, if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, criticisms, roasts, put them all down in that comment box down there for me, shall ya? Will ya? Words. This is a little late right now recording this, I apologize. But guys, this has been Ferg with Team COG. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and if you're ever feeling so generous, hit that bell icon for that lovely, lovely content we try to give to you. You guys have a great night. Ferg's out.